Tim Johnston, this is Recovery, Strength, Hope and Courage. This is a second sort of quick sober tip that I'd like to share if, if possible with you. It's something I've, it's taken me a good while to learn really into my recovery and um, first of all just want to mention about support. Support is, is really important and there's no doubt about it, really important in early recovery in particular. Um, whether it, that support be from friends and family, you make yourself accountable to them, um, whether it's AA or NA or any of the, the, those other groups, whatever suits you, uh, whether it's groups online or just posting and knowing that someone's there to listen to you, all that's quite important. Uh, there's no doubt about that and I'm not knocking that at all. But the tip I want to share with you, which has taken me a good, a, a good while to sort of discover really and is in my opinion anyway essential to your sobriety is that it, it's what you do when nobody is watching you is what really matters it's what you know and I'll repeat that it's what you do when nobody is watching you that really matters there's no doubt about that because ultimately your accountability to yourself is what matters is what I'm trying to say it's great being accountable to people and, and, and obviously when your friends and family are watching and you, you're posting on to, to perhaps anonymous people online or you're attending AA meetings and stuff. Like I say, great, if that keeps you sober, that's great. But ultimately, the whole journey and the solidity of your recovery and your sobriety is ultimately down to you, only you. So what you do when nobody's watching you is what really builds the strength of your sobriety and whether that be um, just doing the right things, building the right habits, whether it's your diet, whether it's your exercise, whether it's just the way you're living, whether it's being kind to people or giving service to people. You don't need to shout about it or tell anybody about it. It's, you know, it, ultimately it's what you're doing when nobody is watching you. And that's what takes the strength in sobriety and that's what ultimately keeps you sober because only you can keep you sober. Not attending groups and not um, posting online and not, they'll all help, no, don't get me wrong, but they ultimately won't keep alone keep you sober. So that's what I want to share with you today. Be accountable to yourself, it's only you. You know, you've got to learn that. It takes time in sobriety to do that and ultimately in your early sobriety, like I did, you lean on, on, on groups and support and being accountable to your family and stuff. And all that is, like I say, is truly important. Um, but as you get into deeper into sobriety, you realise that to stay sober, that there's only really one person that matters, you know, that, that um, is ultimately going to keep you sober. And that's yourself. So bear that in mind, guys. That's uh, And just something quickly I want to share with you about gratitude. Um, Something I do every day is write down um, something nice that someone else has done for me or that I'm grateful for. Something I've done for some, somebody else that they may be grateful for, some kindness. And ultimately something in my life I'm grateful for. So those three things I always write down every day. And that really does focus your mind on, um, on stuff, you know, and, and, and about kindness and love and and also being grateful just for your existence and your sobriety and your health and, and everything else and, and the small things in life that really matter. So, okay, that's, that's it for today. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Much love to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.